Alright guys, and welcome back to Wasteland 3. Join my group of rangers. We have quite the party now. Of course, we've got Chris, Chris, Geralt and Bane, and we've got two companions as well, Marshall Kwan and the newly acquired Lucia Wesson. Oh, I should tell you, by the way, I've got a, I've got a new microphone I'm trying out today. Uh, it is a hopefully an upgrade to the one I've already been using, and, uh, well, if you notice the difference, let me know. We're going to go into the Garden of Gods to eliminate the Dorseys. There is so much to do in this town, and I don't know how much I'm really going to be able to get into the episodes, but... Uh, I hope, I hope you're enjoying these so far, and thank you very much for coming back to uh, watch this with me. Alright, let's head on out. Are you sure you want to travel to the Garden of the Gods? Not really, but we're going to do it anyway. Look at all this writing. Illuminated writing on the rocks. Okay, here we are in the garden. Yeah, okay, this is the place. Whoever just came up from the city, come in. Hello? Whoever just came up from the city, come in? Who? Where? Where? This is Bellamy Ward. I... There are Dorseys all over the garden. I'm pinned down on a high ledge. Can... Can you reach me? We will do our best, Bellamy Ward. Okay, uh, we're, we're the Rangers. Sit tight, we'll take care of the Dorseys. No promises, but we're planning to kill every Dorsey we find. Stop your blubbering, just stay out of the way. Okay, we'll just say sit tight. We are here to help people after all. Oh, thank God. So we've got another reputation point. I'll just just show you that quickly. Oh, hang on, can't gotta finish this conversation. Hey, you on the ledge? Hands up! Oh God, right, that's him. He's in trouble. Oh no, they found me. Don't worry, we're coming, my friend. Okay, if we can get there in time, up on the ledge. Is it one of these? Is it a bit further? I don't know, this looks like quite a... It's going to be quite a large area. Let's check the map. Yeah, this is massive. Downtown. Okay, so that's back to Colorado Springs. That's where we just came in, of course. So it looks like this garden circles around quite a large area. I'm going to have to have my wits about me. It's got, they've gone to a huge amount of effort just to grow a few vegetables. What about these chickens? Can we tame it? So she's trying to charm the animal. Oh, look at that! It worked! <laughs> okay, I don't know what Bane's gonna do, so he's probably gonna eat it. What a good chicken you are. Dismiss, stay here, girl. Uh, what a good chicken. This chicken cocks his head and blinks at you. <laughs> Uh, that's all for now. Okay, so we can pet the chicken. That's, that's pretty much it. But we, we, uh, we used Chris's animal whisperer technique to get a few experience points. Okay, let's move on. on. Moving on here. Uh, if, if you see a knob, should you just pull it? I don't know. Let's give it a go. Oh. What has that done? That's done something strange. This, it's lit up this crate, which is it made it now, yeah, lootable. So we've got a suture kit. Oh, that's the first time I've seen one of those. Marksman rifle. Marksman rifle. Ooh. Okay. Take it all. Of course, I've got a, I'm going to be, oh, look, we actually, the chicken's with us. We've recruited a chicken. This is, we're going to have that constant clucking around us while we do it, though. Game saved. Come down from there. Now, where are you? you don't want to do oh, it's up here. Why not? I, there we go. We've got a Dorsey ambusher. Okay, let's get a little closer. Maybe Geralt can take him out with the sniper. I don't see no where are they? So, these level three. I can't tell what he is. Level three as well. Um. Let's get Geralt over here. Maybe he can take that guy out. What's his What's his range? Eighty-four percent chance of hitting him. Let's do it. Oh, what a shot! Yeah, one hit, one kill. Combat has begun. Well, at least we got the first turn, and 
And I guess if we get the first hit, we get the first chance to take more hits. So, well done, Geralt. You used up a lot of AP doing that, so we're going to have to think what to do with the rest of the group. Okay, this Chris. Let me find you some cover, but you won't be able to take a shot. I can't see the blues and the yellows. It's very hard to tell how far we get. Um, but I think the only thing we can do here is actually just begin to move our move our group up. Up close and personal. I don't think that's an explosive barrel. We'll find out the hard way. Try. Yep, yeah, we got a shot on. He missed. Lucia, I thought you had better skills than this. And Geralt, sadly, you're going to have to come a bit closer. I maybe should have started this a little closer to the battle. Um, right, we're going to carry your AP over. And we should be able to do the same. Nice. Our enemies, our enemies turn now. Oh, wow, they're moving in for the melee. Oh, dear Lord. We're surrounded. Poor Lucy. She's going to struggle. Yeah, and she's bleeding out. Yeah, they've totally, totally destroyed Lucia. She's going to die horribly, horribly. In that case, we're going to have to try and take these guys out. We've definitely got our shot on. Yeah, one dead. One down. Can you do the same for him? You can. Beautiful. Lucy, we're saving your life. Oh, and look. We've got a precision strike. I think we'll save that. He's all out anyway. Okay. Little Chris. Oh, do you know what? Let's let, let's let Bane do what he does best. Nice. And he's got a bleeder. Three more AP. Let's take him out. It's done. Beautifully done, Bane. Congratulations. Uh, let's get you to... Can we get you to crouch? No, you can't crouch. Should we bother moving up? Or let the guys with the fists do all of this? I think we might leave you here. Yeah, let's leave you here. We're going to carry... Let's get you to ambush. If you ambush, will you sprint forward? I don't know. I'm interested to find out. Let's try that. Okay. Other Chris. I think these, these shots are too far, but let's get you... Let's get you moved up a bit. Let's see. No, you're out of range. Sticky behind the tree. Perfect blocking. Geralt, your time has come. Now you should be able to take a shot. Oh no, you're at just out of range. He can only move one space. I'm surprised. Oh, I see, because it, it cost him 6 AP just to take a shot. Geralt, back here, you're pretty useless, aren't you? Moved. Let's get you moved up here. Maybe you'll be useful in the next round. Marshal Quan, have a go. Nice. One bullet missed, but not too bad. And Lucy, we, you really need heal. Got two med hypos. Oh, she's a bit vulnerable here, to be honest. But she's mostly blocked from that angle alright let's let's get a shot oh we can't god damn uh, yeah if you move here you will be able to take a shot let's try 67% chance nice <laughs> good shooting Tex ok well you can just hunker down Save your AP for the next fight. Oh my God. Yeah, she's in trouble. I see him. Okay, so Bane wasn't able to ambush. I guess he's just too far away. Fine. 
Okay, Garrett, we need you to level up, so let's try. Oof, it's a very low chance. Let's try. Well, oh, it worked out. That was a learning experience. There we go. One more battle done. I quite like these encounters. I know they do. Perhaps they don't look so good on the on the video. They do take some time to work through. Oh, okay. She's she's gone. Is she completely dead? Is she completely dead? I mean, there are levels of deadness. Hopefully, we'll be able to revive her. Um, how do we save her? Our odds of winning increase if we act as one. Oh, okay. Look, she's still shaking, but she has been revived. She's she's not quite there yet. Chris can uh, upgrade, which is cool. But we're gonna have to we're gonna have to give her a little heal. I was a bit unfair, really, on her. I put her right in the middle of in the thick of things. Okay, zooming out. I'm gonna see if there's anything else to interact with around here. Yeah, we got some ammo, med kits up there. Perfect. And there's a little tunnel. That way, leading up to a chest. A weapon crate. Okay. Proceeding with some level of caution. We'll take Chris the leader. I mean, I presume he's the leader. He's first in the... in the... in the group. But of course, Major Tom will always join him. Follow him... following him like a loyal dog, really, this cat. Okay. Flamethrower fuel. Oh, I wonder if we can tame the rabbits. Made a kit. One, yeah, one of each. That's lovely. Uh, okay, Bane. Now, be very careful, but we're going to send you up here. Okay, this is fine. Nice. Another sniper rifle. And some rounds. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Alright, well, it isn't going to be the last battle in this garden. Let's see how much of the map we've uncovered. Actually, a fair amount, so we haven't got far to go now. Gotta be careful for careful of mines. Oh here we go. Perfectly done. Disarm careful, careful, careful. Don't move up too quick. So we're gonna disarm it. Now the best person to disarm will be this Chris, I believe, but we ah damn it, we need an explosives level two. Chris, you can do it. Go for it. Nice. So does that mean we actually gain the explosives? Did we pick them up or something? Uh, I don't think so. so. We've got a door and a generator. Repair, require mechanics. Now, our bane is a bit of a mechanic. Let's see if we can fix this generator. To do something, I have no idea. Well done, bane. Bella meow. <laughs> Let's speak to this cat. Purr, it says. Bella meow. Means pretty, pretty meow. Burble. Okay, I think. Uh, Chris with a K. May be able to talk. I think she has the, the, the cat whispering. Charming skills. Oh, we got a miss. So I guess we weren't able to do that. Fine. But... The right person has come into this area. With this one requires power. Okay. Bella Meow's done a runner. Let's see what we've got. LED matrix. A fancy robotic part that took humanity thousands of years to collectively develop and manufacture. All in the name of partying down. So right. Okay. Lock pickers. Who do we have that's a good lock picker? Someone. Is it Geralt? Are you able to do this? Yeah, you are. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at this. A fro Was that a frozen ferret launcher? Jesus, I hope we can... Fro Ammo type frozen ferrets actually fires frozen mammals. <laughs> this is excellent. Uh, a razor box. The kit includes everything you need to make a melee weapon more pointy and scary. So it's a mod for a sword. Excellent. But it requires 10 weapon modding. Level 10. Holy crap. 
Uh, there is a frozen ferret for our frozen ferret shooting launcher. That's brilliant. And um, a skill book. This is my first skill book. Ah, a kumite, kumite, maybe a, a history. The underground sport of hand-to-hand -hand combat revealed. Permanently increases brawling by one. I don't have a brawler. Let's check this other locker. Oh wow, a, dy a dynamic cross photon matrix. Well, it's a dynamic matrix that crosses photons, clearly. God, this game was written for me. Bellamy test. The label on this cassette tape is severely, oh uh, sorry, has several scratched out lines on it. The only line not scratched at is the final one, which reads test number 110. Interesting. Pogs, oh my God. Pogs are in the game. Mine, mine, all mine. Yeah, I like the way they've called it junk. <laughs> yeah, not a fan. Right. Uh, this is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number uh, 110. I have adjusted the angle of the solar collectors by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. Right, okay, that was slightly boring. Um, electronic safe requires power. So these, there's, there's power leading in this direction. I don't want to sacrifice you, Bane, but you're going to have to see what this does. Oh, look at that. If you stand on the plates, it provides power. Awesome. Oh, no, dude, not you. Sorry, man. No, you're going to have to go back. Somebody else will do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's got power. Oh, Chris. Okay, maybe Chris can work out what the code is. Okay, the interface of the computer has been customized with a cartoonish plant-based theme. A large eggplant smiles and presents what looks like a game menu. Uh, create a new character. You are assigned an avatar of a corn of cob. <laughs> it's stated your name was auto-generated, but you have doubts that Bella Maze was <laughs> random. Well, we just saw Bella... Bella, Bella, Bella meow. So, hmm, bit of a theme here. Uh, look through the file structure and source code. Or play Bella me land. Okay. Or Bella my land. Bella me land, Bella my land. Digging through the files, you find a partially implemented game called Bella, Bella my land 3, which appears to have a map called Garden of Bellamy. Bellamy... Uh, appears to have modelled his entire workshop in the game. The only difference you notice is there is no computer and the electronic safe is connected directly to a generator. You launch Bellamy 3 and your vegetable avatar repairs the generator. This is, this is good, I hope. Does that mean the safe opens? It does! We're done! Okay, what is, what is this? Reflex scope. Awesome. I mean, these, these things should just improve range, maybe accuracy, I don't know. Well, I mean, that's what it's built for, but will it will it uh, actually do that for us? Another frag grenade, another rocket launcher, and a little bit of dollar. And we've also got some uh, helmet armor, or a mod for a helmet armor. That's, that's really cool. Well done, everybody. We solved that puzzle. Okay, now I've just noticed. Be careful, careful, careful. We've got more traps. And there's another one here. A <laughs> chicken is wonderful. Okay, uh, this Chris. Disarm that explosive, please. <clears throat> and while you're at it, do this one. Nice. So, yeah, we do get XP for it. And, of course, I think Chris has got a perk which gives him additional XP. Hmm... Yeah, Garrett, it's down to you. Target blocked. Okay, um, come here. 
Oh dear lord, we've got a blood beast. What the hell? What an amazing looking thing. That looks very like the Wolverine. But that's much, much bigger a beast. Dorsey Ambusher, these guys are absolutely loaded out. This is going to be a tough fight. But we've got a, cre a booze box. Well, I don't really want the booze. But I don't, there's no other way around. I mean, obviously we're going to take these guys on, but I wanted to see if we could possibly do this a little bit easier. I'm going to try and shoot that thing. Do it, do it. Yep, good shot. Do it again. Just gonna take another shot. Lovely. Okay, reload. We're gonna have some moving in from the right. Some of them are gonna go direct, I suppose. Oh, we've got a tunnel down here. Oh, so maybe there is a sneaky way to do this. Where would it take us? Oh, all the way up here, but... Oh, and round the back. So, that's another tactic we haven't really tried. Oh, bang, go on, you get the booze. Mile high, was that mile high mug filler? It's almost certainly beer. Uh, drink to gain plus 25 melee damage for 36 turns, but suffer minus 2 AP for 60 turns afterwards. It's such a long investment. 60 turns, seriously, that's huge. We'll take it. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna send Geralt just down here to scout this area. I'm fully aware there may be traps, so I'll be going very careful. Oh, we've got a buried item. Ooh. Ooh, that's a first. I'm glad he's brought a shovel with him. Oh we got Keen Karen. <laughs> Keen Karen. <laughs> a creepy doll. Sweet and mousy is her look, but she's got your secrets in her book. Grants bonus to all squad members. Excellent. Increased perception, and this is a shrink grenade. The scientists who created this device were so obsessed with whether they could that they never thought about whether they should. Ah, oh, that's a little nod to Jurassic Park there. Fantastic. So how do we use it? Throw to bring someone down a peg or two. It applies shrunk. I think we will... So it must shrink a boss... I mean, we'll use, probably save that for a boss fight, but we're going to need somebody who's good with those weapons. Added to our archive, King Karen. I love that. Okay. We've got a bunch of wolves. The waste wolves. Okay, let's try the Dorseys first. We'll come back for the wolves, I think. <laughs> with, a, with a crew. Okay, let's get you two to move up. I want to be I want to be really careful that I don't trigger the fight. They get this far. Uh oh. The beast master. Now he looks like a level four. The others are level one. Level eighteen. Holy crap. So the beast master is probably the guy that Geralt should snipe out. Let's get him here. can come up a little bit. Lucia, seeing as we, we did so much damage the last time, I'm going to have to be careful with you. Let's get Bane over here. Now, we've positioned ourselves in a very random manner. But this guy is going down. Geralt, do the honours. Yeah, that nearly took him completely out. The fight has begun, but the Beastmaster's nearly already dead, and we go, oh, he used up a load of AP, so we don't get another shot, but he's here, ready to go. I wonder what those beasts are going to do. Um, Lucia, do you reckon you can take him out of range? What about you, Chris? You probably can, but it seems these the others are out of range anyway. He's got a massive, massive 
weapon. So it's, it's definitely right to take him out. If only I had a nuke. Oh, he says, perfect. Do you know what? I haven't tried. Oh, I need 6 AP for it, but I really wanted to try the rocket launcher. Maybe on the next round. Uh, we've got one Dorsey Hunter here. We, have we got even a chance? No, he's out of range. Okay, so you stay there. Marshall, let's get you up to cover, some kind of cover. Let's see if you can take out this guy. You've got 48% chance of doing it. Let's give it a go. Well, you got a hit. Hit or two will do. Lucia, you can uh, be protected by Marshall Kwan. And we're going to have to get you to protect yourself from attack. And actually, you, you can hold your points. Uh, oh no, you can protect yourself as well. Now, Bane, what are we going to do with you? Now, we can't really move this guy anywhere closer. We're going to have because they're going to move as well. Don't don't forget. Now, I have got my precision strike. I think I will save that for when we're a bit closer. So let's get him to ambush. This Chris so far unused. I know what I don't know what we're gonna do with Bane over there. Uh, but they're out of range here. Oh, I don't know, it's difficult. Difficult to know what to do. If I get you to move up. Still out of range. In that case, he's set up for an ambush. Geralt, you're, you're doing a good job, but it's, it's like you, you basically start the, the fight and that's it. We can't really use you after. Uh, keep, your, keep your points and carry them over. Bane, what are you going to do, man? There's just so many of them. I feel like the best thing to do is just move up, get good protection... Carry the uh, two points. Ah, oh. yeah. Carry two over. Ending turn. There we go. So the two, two, two members ambushed. That worked out pretty well. Geralt is, Geralt is dead. Jeez, Geralt, you rubbish. The chicken. <laughs> oh my God! What a cockfight. The chicken and the cat are at so far more effective than the rest of the whole crew. Geralt, we'll be back. We'll be back for you. Don't worry. Um, this Chris will have to take out this guy. Except you missed. How did you miss from there? And now maybe you can revive Geralt. Okay, good job. And I was going to put you in cover, but I think we'll just keep you moving up. Geralt is partially alive. Now, this time, Bane has got a whole chunk of XP. We've got 10 available. So, Bane, the Blood Beast is going down, hopefully. Nice. Now, while you're there, I believe you can loot stuff. Let's see. Oh, just some sludge. Nice. Oh, look at this. Wolf skull ornament. A vehicle upgrade. Oh, wow. Of course, we get a vehicle a bit later on. Some excellent armor. Scrap armor. Gives you add additional f four points. Wow, that's, that's actually very significant. Scout pants. Yep, no. Don't really need it. Purified tar. This extremely sticky sludge gets everywhere and doesn't want to let go. It might have a use as a glue or epoxy. An icy carapace shard. An extra thick carapace shard from mutated exoskeleton. It's covered in ice crystals and seems like it might have insulating properties. But it's marked as junk. Interesting. 
Oh, what is this? Vehicle part unlocked. Wolf skull ornament. You've unlocked a vehicle upgrade. Return to Ranger HQ to install it on the Kodiak. Got it. We'll do that. We will so do that. Now, Bane, you're not done yet. Uh, but I am going to leave you here. This guy might be a bit of trouble for, for you, but so far, you can't miss from there, man. How the hell do you get misses in the very next square? That's ridiculous. That is actually ridiculous. Marshall, you're rubbish. And she's missing as well. Is it just because it's blocked? For the love of... Okay, fine. That's really strange. The chances of, of missing there, I don't know, that didn't make any sense to me. Uh, you'll carry your AP. Okay. Bane, I'm going to get you to... Well, let's try that ambush again. Maybe you'll get a bit closer. Okay, Chris. You're out of range. Your chances are too low. But you are in a good position here. Let's try. It's done some damage. Oh, Geralt's down again. All right, we're just going to leave you there this time, man. Oh, God. That was a heavy hit. So the chicken and the cat are going to go in and rescue us. Nicely done. Here we go. I notice how they never really... They never really go for the uh, the animals. Right, Bane. Bane, I think we're going to get you to attack this guy. Let's get you up. Slice him in two, please. Oh my god. <laughs> he missed. He actually missed. Okay, what can we do with this? How do we use it again? Do we just aim somewhere random? What? How do we use it? Target a specific area of an enemy to inflict special effects. What? Oh, it's like VATS in Fallout. Okay, well, we go for the head. What other effects do we get? Deals 50% bonus. Oh, I've got to kill this guy because he's going to take Bane out. 50% chance, 30% chance. I'm not going to get his legs. Okay. We're going for the head. Oh, it was a beautiful shot. Well done. Okay, Bane. Let's get you into cover. Right, Marshall. How's your shooting arm today? A little better than it was before. Dead. Cool. Dorse. Oh, Lucio, you, you're not going to be able to get him from there. In fact, not many people are. So let's get you over here. Let's see if we can get a shot away. Oh, just out of range as well. God damn it. All right. Well, you t I tell you what. You... Uh, you go for the ambush. This Chris, you kind of got to move up, man. But you're going to get shot at. Let's let's put you here. You've got a better range. Oh, let's put you here then. Okay, Chris. Uh, seven AP, but not much health. I think we're going to have to revive Geralt again. Get into cover. And then. God damn. Out of range as well. You haven't got much health though. I would put you here, but I think you're going to get shot. Damn. I'll be 
but you do have your ability. Ah, oh, you can't use it. Okay, you go for an ambush. Geralt, dude, you just gotta hide. <laughs> get over here, you can't. You're gonna get shot there. Let's get you. Let's get you behind the, uh, your your friends here. And see how you turn. <laughs> that was it. Two shots. Cock attack. Cock and cat attack. Okay, can you take him out? How could you be out of range from there, Mr. Geralt? I'm disappointed. Oh, that's Bane, sorry. Like a fool, I'm picking the wrong guy. 17% chance. I'm disappointed. If we move you here, you've probably got a better chance, but... Your health is so low. 17% chance. Oh, I don't know. If we get you here, maybe... Better shot. Yeah, wow, 27% chance to hit him and it worked. Oh, he's crawling. He's, yeah, he's definitely dead. And the chicken's feeding on his uh, entrails there, nice. <laughs> okay, Chris, can you take a shot from there? No, you can't. Let's get you at the tree. You're still out of range. God damn. What about you, Marshall? You're out of ammo? Are you really? God, of course. He's using an assault rifle as well. And what about this guy? Is he out of ammo as well? Yeah. God damn. Well, we wanted to try the rocket launcher. Oh! A little bit of overkill. <laughs> but it worked. Oh my god. Well, now we know how, how it works. This is cool. Okay. Medical attention. Yeah, you do. Geralt, are you gonna... Can you do something? Oh, she's dead. She's dead as well. Is that because we blew up? Yeah, I think it is. And we, we did some damage. The chicken's on fire. We're gonna have roasted chicken tonight. I feel like chicken tonight. Right, get up. Marshall, will you deal with her, please? They are revived. A little shaky, but back on their feet. So, Lucia, you have the honor of looting for us. Okay, cool. Take it. We'll take it. Taking it. $22. Eight more. Quite a lucrative set of missions there. Now, there's something up here. We've got a PAL controller. I wonder, wonder if that was a way of, of using these lights to damage people if we'd have been a bit more sneaky. Uh, do you know what, though? We're going to have to get somebody who's a little bit more perceptive over here, just in case they were laying mines somewhere near this box. Looks good. Oh, hello. Savage legs. <laughs> Tactical armor helmet and chest armor. That is excellent. Excellent upgrades. I have to spend some time rooting through these and assigning them to the right people. And a load of rounds as well. What is this? The scent of charred meat and burnt hair wafts from the pit. Smoking bodies contorted by agony or post-mortem muscle contraction lie curled atop one another. Oh, this is a dark, dark place. It is impossible to identify the corpses, but they appear to be both adults and children. Oh, no. Oh, God. Lucia Weston. Lucia stares at the bodies. Her knuckles are white on the grips of her guns, and her breath comes in little gasps. Leave Lucia alone. Step away from the pit or any sign of your family. Mm, a little. Is it too soon? No. I can't see a... a thing. 
would do this? Who would murder families and children? Who would burn them so badly that we can't even tell? She breathes deep. I don't know if they're here or not. I can't... Come on. Let's find the monsters who did this. I agree. Perception one. Examine the bodies more closely. Ah. Near the edge of the pit, a child-sized corpse appears to be clutching something as if they were protecting it or hiding it. Take the bundle for... Oh, this is so sad. That... That was one of the Skylar girls, I think. Seems like we ought to leave her alone. Feels an awful lot like grave robbing. Lucia turns away looking like she's going to be sick. We should take the bundle anyway. You pull the bundle from the child's charred embrace and take what's wrapped inside. It's a burned book. Step away from the pit. Let's check the inventory for that burned book. Is it going to reveal anything? Here it is. It's unreadable. Okay. Hmm. Maybe she didn't like that. <laughs> Everybody disliked that. Got a whole load of armor, though. What is what is this? This armor is level three. But you know, there seems to be people who who are getting killed a lot more. Namely, Geralt. Yeah, that's why you've got no armor whatsoever. Uh, although, although I think I gave you a. I gave you some... Did I give you some armor in the first place? Like a perk or something? So you need a little more strength to carry that one. But we can give you this, which is which is worth even more anyway. Yeah. You can have that. Oh my god, look at what it's done to you. That's, you look like a tank. Wow, Geralt, you're uh, maybe a little, a little OP now. And we can give you even, even increased armor. Oh, we're going to cover up your face. But you're looking so badass. I think it's a bit of a waste. A bit of a waste on you, my friend. What else have we got? Savage legs, leg armor. You need way more strength. Well, it's interesting how you need strength capabilities to wear this armor. Uh, you can't wear them anyway. So we can give you a bit more speed. A modest ballistic protection. More importantly, you won't slip on the ice. There you go. Some new trousers. Oop, let's put that back. Some new trousers for you, Gerald. I hope you're happy with those. Chris, I think you could do... Ah, you don't have enough strength. But we need to give you a hat. You're our field medic, after all. Looking good. Looking very good. Uh, big Chris here, he's just... He's just the Don. I mean, look at him. He's, he's so overpowered. Requires five strength. He's still not strong enough, though, Chris. You need to up your game. Bane, though. Bane should be able to carry these. Yeah, he can. In which case, I'll probably swap out these for those. Oh, look at you. I mean, you're just getting bigger and wider every time, every time we look at you. And you are able to carry this armor so let's give it to you would you check him out Bane you're looking a little the, the legs are a little bit wide there you got some tree trunks going down okay but now you've got that Is this plus three that's plus three anyway but is it is it better yeah do you know what that suits you better it's the same amount it's it's the same cover don't worry oh it's not actually but Anyway, anyway, there's others that need the help a little more. That's plus three, that's plus five. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. So, who else needs something? I mean, I'm not going to bother about the companions. They can look after themselves. Although, everybody's got something now. You don't have any trousers on. There you go. You've been showing your little pecker to the... Your little... Your little rocket launch has been exposed this whole time until we put trousers on you. Good job. Okay. Marshal Quan and Lucia. Well, considering we've got some armor, I hope you give it back before you disappear. But now we've got everything. We're moving on.
Snow is beginning to cover the corpses. Step away from the pit. Okay, yeah, we've done this. Wow, that was that was really cool. And what is on the map? We must be close to the, the way out. Yeah, downtown Colorado Springs. But we still haven't rescued our guy. And you know what we need to do here? We've got to go and see what these wolves were doing. Can we get to them here? Mm, yeah, we could, actually. Let's come this way. Slowly, everybody, please. Take it easy now. So we've got this controller. Let's see what we've done. Oh, hello. Yeah, we know you're there. Munching on the bones or something. Uh, the interface for the photon amplification lens looks simple. Most routines are automated, but there are some controls you can, you can adjust. Install the dynamic cross photon matrix. Oh, we found that earlier. A happy flower appears on the screen. It says, PAL activated, PAL. Whoa. Oh yeah, it would have, it would have decimated them. Ah oh, well, we live and learn. There are many ways to skin the cats in this game. Well, I'm not, not you, Tom. Don't, don't listen to me. Not you, Tom. <laughs> okay. I think we better get started with these guys. This this alpha wolf needs sniping. Yeah, we take a, took a bit of a chunk of his health. Bane, you're going to be very useful here. Lucy, I'm sorry. I think you're dead. But let's see what we can do. Right, you've got a... Out of range? Seriously. You're standing right there, yet out of range. We've got to do something about you. Uh, and you're out of range. So everybody's out of range. Fantastic. Chris, maybe we can use your awesome rocket launcher skills. We've still got five of them. Shall we? Yeah, let's do it. Why can't we? Why can't we? Move here. And then shoot him. Shoot him. The oh, it's gorgeous. We just killed them all. <laughs> this is just an absolute <laughs> sea of blood down here. Partly the work of the wolves themselves. Okay, now proceeding with caution. Let's loot what we can. It's going to be bones and blood, most of it. Oh, tooth. A wolf fang. Wear this around your neck to show everyone how much of a lonesome badass you think you are. Oh, hell yeah. A cyborg chicken. Can you believe it? I can't see him. Nearly spherical in shape, this plump specimen waddles contentedly along, pecking at the ground. For some reason, someone implanted metal devices into its body. Animal Whisperer, level four. God damn it. Whisper for god damn. Well, cyborg chicken, I'll remember you. I will never forget you. Molotov cocktails. Oh, you little beauty. Do you know, I haven't really used any explosives or grenades or anything like that. More medicine, and we need it. Our little group needs it in a big way. Now, she can use the med pack, so we'll definitely do that. Yeah, use the map. Oh, you can use it on other people. Oh, Chris, now I understand. Right, well, I think you have to find Geralt then. Uh, no, Chris, come over here and heal him. Let's see this working. Oh, well done. Good job. Okay, and uh, we're going to give Bane a little a little help too. But he can use a stim. I don't think we need to use up all of the, the med kits. Perfect. Well, we've got ourselves healed up reasonably well. Let's get everybody to rock and roll. Again, these episodes are going to be quite long. Just because there's so much in them. What's this? Uh, Peak solves conflict through negotiation. Poke shoots first and keeps shooting. So peek and poke. Two different robots. I'm sure we saw them before. Somewhere. Oh, here we are. Have we rescued them?
Isaac Reed, the clothes on this young man are impeccably tailored, the height of local fashion. He holds his hands up and launches into what is obviously a prepared speech. Isaac Reed, on behalf of all of us here, I want to offer our unconditional surrender. As proof of our goodwill, I want to tell you that the culprits got into town with help from Farron Brago's organization, and... and... And? And? Isaac, how could you? How could you throw in with these people? How could you let them take my family? Where are my parents and my little brother? They're... They're in the grave you passed on the way here. Oh, God. They didn't suffer, Lucia. I promise. Baby, look. I didn't mean it to go this way. I tried to stop them. I, I really did. I begged. Stop talking right now. Yeah, it's not going to end well for you, I think. Okay, so we get a chance to talk. Wait a minute, you you kids were helping the Dorseys? Just tell us how those people wound up dead. You piece of shit, it helped them kill Lucia's family. You helped them kill them. And you want our forgiveness. Let me just start with... Wait, wait, wait a minute. We, we thought we were in the right. The Dorseys promised that we could take down the Patriarch. They didn't say anything about murdering hostages. What about all the other people they killed? Or was that part okay with you, Isaac? Hmm. Yeah. Just tell us how those people wound up dead. It was Melius Dorsey. He went looking for your family, Lucia. Your family especially. That's why I got you out of your house before the raid. I didn't want anything to happen to you. So, I see. One act of kindness is gonna... Clear up everything for you, is it? You didn't want anything to happen to me? So you let savages abduct and murder my family. You knew what they meant to me. You knew what their loss would do to me. But you're still alive, Lucia. Don't you see? You're still alive, and that's what matters most to me. Okay, where's Nelius Dorsey now? And why did you do it, Isaac? Why betray your community? Uh, were the Dorseys acting alone? Did they have support from anyone else? Ooh, this is interesting. Farron Brigo's gang helped them get into town. I don't know how or why. And I overheard Nelius say something about Liberty Buchanan, the Patriarch's daughter. Farron Brigo. If you don't know, <laughs> that is an anagram of Brian Fargo, who is the creator behind the game. <laughs> um... I think... I think she's going to attack Colorado Springs. It sounded like she's gathering an army out in the plains. Something way worse than the Dorseys. Okay. Where's Nelius Dorsey now? He escaped. He took some vehicles and headed west into the mountains. I don't think he was planning to come back. So why did you betray your community? We've been under the Patriarch's boot for 50 years. We say that the hundred families are in charge, but it's really just his family. Just him. I know you must think I'm a fuzzy-headed idealist, but this society's sick. It needs to change. When you're the man to do that by siding with the enemy. I have heard enough. If your betrayal of my family was not sufficient, your treachery here most certainly is. In the name of the Patriarch, I sentence you. Her voice shakes, but her hand does not. You didn't even see her draw her gun. Please, Lucia. I did this for you. All I ever meant was to help build a better world for you. For all of us. I can't tell you how much I regret. Please don't kill me. Please. Oh, wow, look at this. Stop this here, there's a better way to handle this. Or go for it, kid, he's garbage. Please, he's garbage. Lucia, I love you. Oh, there it is. And then her hand does shake violently. She pulls the trigger anyway. The bullet strikes him in the gut. He topples, blood spilling from his lips and slowly spreading pool of gore surrounding him. He turns his head to Lucia, agony in his gaze. It's going to take him a long time to die.
Oh, I can tell someone to kill Isaac for her. Finish the job, kid. You wanted to take a life. Take it. Let him bleed to death. He doesn't deserve any better. Oh, finish the job. Okay. All right. She breathes deeply, her eyes closed. When she opens them again, you see the steely gaze of a killer. Isaac does too. Please, Lucia. Please. Oh, God. She shoots him in the forehead. The back of her bow's skull splatters out across the snow. <laughs> She turns away and is violently sick. Behind her, Isaac breathes his last. Psychos! You killed Isaac! You kill us all! Don't worry. We're not going to kill you all. Just him. Oh, wow! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and the music's kicking in. This is an absolute brawl. It's a street brawl. Well, this was the way it was going to go down for me. The hundred families. Okay, your turn is over. My friendly's kicking in. The cat and the cock. And Bane, it's just one swing of his sword. If he just does a little helicopter move here, it's so hard to see what's going on. But dude. Alright, let's take this one. Nice. You you hit you attacked us first. I mean we only we're only shooting him because he deserved it. He didn't have to die. That's two. That was well, well done, Bane. You did a good job there. Geralt, take the one at the back. And this one. Not enough AP. All right. How about you, Chris? You're out of range there. Jeez. Uh, oh, this one on the ground. Oh, wow. Missed. Crouch, actually. You get a better... Oh, not enough AP. God damn it, Chris. 62% chance of a point-blank kill. <laughs> Fair enough. That's two. Two for you. Lucia, again. Out of range here, but if you move here, I think you've got a good shot. Yeah. That's it. It's all over. Oh, no, it's not. Who's left? Oh, it's this guy. Uh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Why, are you, why have you selected that? We don't need this. Oh god, yeah, cuz I just noticed you had your Yeah, sorry, sorry, I'm not paying attention. You missed. Holy crap. Oh, right. Not that we need to do this, but I mean, so whoever gets the next hit wins the game for us. Missed me. Yep. <laughs> the animals finished the job. Beautifully done. Wow, that was a unexpected fight at the end there. We could have saved them. This is Ranger HQ. We're getting reports of shooting in your last known location at Garden of the Gods. What's your status? Over. Uh, yeah, we kind of killed everybody. Uh, we took care of the Dorseys. There are no survivors. We killed every last Dorsey rat and 100 families' kids helping them. Ooh, maybe we should... Maybe we should lie about that. Kick ass, November one. Glad to hear justice has been done. Over and out. Now, I don't know if our reputation would have gone up or down there, so yeah. decisions, decisions. All right, let's do a bit of looting, and then we can head back to town. Somebody, somebody, pick up the bags. Oh, there's loads of them. We got ourselves a hunting knife and some money. Thank you. What's this? A pack of cards. Playing for keeps. What? $167? I'll take that. Uh, brass knuckles. Uh, another little pistol. And some more money. No more knuckles and pistols. Pistols and knuckles. Ammo. Everything. It's a beautiful place. Now, but what else do they have in this camp? There must be loads more. 
Grenade, what is this? Rebar knuckles. <laughs> okay. These are these are the simplest wasteland weapons to manufacture. Bar none. Oh, I see what they did there. Bar none. Oh, it's so good. So good. Um, we've got an armor mod, pocket dock, so yeah. If we're gonna keep these characters, what is this? Camp. Uh, this camp is only a few days old. Looks like the Dorseys gathered here before their attack on the city. Okay, now that's our way out. But what else lies here? There's something there. Shorter control chip. Hydra skin panels, another, another mod. Scrap. Uh, focusing crystal. Got some more meds. Uh, suture kit, medic pack, lovely. How do we move the camera? Is, is it possible to sort of move the camera, you know? Like so we can twist it round or something. Uh, I think that's it. Alright, looks like we're heading home. You sure you want to travel? Yep. We're taking the, group, the crew back to town for tea and medals. You let me shoot him! Never shot anybody before today, and now I've gone and shot my boyfriend. I mean, my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> ex in more ways than one, I suppose. Oh, God! Well, what do you want me to say? You didn't actually have to do it. I didn't make you shoot him. I let you. That's right. I killed him. I really killed him. I can't believe he's dead. I can't... Okay, don't blame yourself. We were the ones who told you to shoot him. Or... You got justice for your family, isn't that what you wanted? Yeah, that that's the that's probably the right approach. I I I did, but was this it? Was Isaac who I should have shot? I I need to find the people who steered Isaac wrong. The people who were really responsible. Neelius, Dorsey, and Liberty Buchanan. Will you help me find them? You can count on my guns every step of the way. Yes, we'll help you in return. You follow orders like a ranger. Uh, we'll know we helped you through the garden. Yeah, Lucia, you can stick around for a while. Of course. Good. You've got yourselves a bargain, rangers. But you have to behave like one of us. We should go after Neelius Dorsey first. Isaac said he headed west into the mountains. No doubt he plans to hole up at one of the old resorts from before the bombs fell. I don't think we're ready to face him yet, though. Neelius will be dug in, I expect, and he'll have all his best people with him. He only left behind the expendables in the garden. I thought she said she was going to follow orders, not give them. <laughs> Marshal, you know, we're going to lose you the first chance we get, I think. For now, we should head back to the sheriff. Okay, let's go and have a little chat with the sheriff. Right, let's go speak to the sheriff. Who is definitely here, but we can only see her flaming gun at the moment. I think we should pull some marshals from Broadmoor, put them here in downtown. If an enemy gets all the way to Broadmoor, we've got big problems. I like your style, Rangers. I asked for a favor, and you came through for me. No more Dorseys in my city, and everybody can walk out their doors again without getting shot. Well, it was nothing. Some of my marshals weren't too sure about you. But I see now that they were dead wrong. Old Saul always knows best. Nice. So I see we're getting a load of armor. Got a reputation increase. Leveled up. Perfect. And a whole suit of Merc armor. I'm going to check that out. Uh, we're all on the same side, right? Let's not get too friendly. Uh, Damn right. Yes, we'll be nice. We'll be polite. It's in all our interest to keep this city safe. Now, before I forget, let me introduce you to Hope Emerson. She heard all about you coming to town, and she wants to join up. Ain't that right, Hope? Pleasure's mine, Rangers. Ran the lockup in a little town called Amity on Colorado's eastern border. Figured I could do the same thing for you at your HQ. Assuming you'll be arresting people now and then? Amity got flattened by the Scar Collectors a while back, so Hope came west. Been trying to get her to join the Marshals ever since. But she keeps turning me down flat. We uh, have some differences when it comes to crime and punishment. But that aside, 
She's smart, honorable, and she'd be an asset to your organization. All right, thanks for the referral, and we do need someone for that position. Welcome aboard, Hope. Great. I'll head over to Ranger headquarters in a bit and start fixing up your brig. I can't think of a better way to serve than to ensure that our justice is fair, even to those who transgressed against it. So, back to business. Did you find out how the Dorseys got into town? Well, apparently had, they had help from Far and Brago's gang. Well, Isaac Reed confessed that he helped them. But it was Far... Yeah, let's just talk about... That we're not, we're not going to mention that we murdered a group of kids. Figures. That rat slinked into town about five years back. And the Patriarch, God love him, offered him a place to set up shop. Been nothing but trouble ever since. So him making a deal with the Dorseys doesn't surprise me in the least. In fact, I had a hunch he might be involved, so I sent my best man over to his nightclub, the Little Vegas, to search for a connection. Haven't heard back from him, though, and I'm a little worried. Oh, I see. We're gonna go check out the nightclub. Say, what if I asked you rangers to go to Little Vegas and check up on him? And if you happen to find proof that Brigo helped the Dorseys while you're there, well, feel free to cuff the bastard and haul him in. Okay, you want him alive? I'm, I've got a problem with that. I keep killing people. Um, okay, we're on it. Take down Brago for me, and I'll make sure your HQ gets the best equipped armory this side of the Rockies. Guns, ammo, armor, the whole shebang. Oh, well, perfect. The marshal I sent to the Little Vegas is named Delgado. Family man and the best Delgado. I've got. <laughs> keep him safe, and I'll owe you another favor. Always a pleasure, Rangers. Wow. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode today, and we got to experience the, the beautiful gardens. Um, it was uh, I really enjoyed that. I hope you did, too. So thank you so much for watching. We're going to go probably check out the nightclub in the next episode, find out what is going on here. But as you can see, we've now got a new recruit. Hope Emerson is going to head over to Rangers HQ. Um, and this is the whole point of coming here and talking to the, the sheriff here. She's going to give us people to help us in our in our headquarters so well say goodbye everybody and uh including you major tom and chicken i don't we'll have to come up with a better name for you thanks for watching all the very best take care and good night